Hi everyone, this is Kao with a different set of gadgets and gizmos brought to you by Astroc with the recent release of the 10th generation Intel Core processors. We have our first batch of motherboards to hit the studio. Intel's 10th gen CPUs are here and with the new Z490 chipset, the LGA1200 is introduced. Azrock was kind enough to send us this Z490 Steel Legends to check out and talk about. So let's unbox it right now. Okay, so carefully. First thing you'll see is... Oh, 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 oh sorry. Let's just put it here where you can see it. Okay, so this is the black Azrock box and inside is... The motherboard itself. Okay, so let's set this motherboard aside first for now. Then underneath. Okay. It's kind of hard, huh? Okay, so we have here the software setup guide and quick installation guide manual, which I'm sure you will not read, of course. And some M.2 screws you'll need, you'll be needing. And a single SATA, or this is two. I think this is two SATA cables. So we have here the black Azrock envelope, and inside is a Velcro cable tie, two Velcro cable tie, and some drivers, the warranty card. Oh no! It's a card! Or you can put a stamp and letter. And Steel Legend! Stickers! Wow! Okay, so let's set this aside first. And... Voila! Voila! There we go. So this is the ASRock C940 Steel Legend Motherboard. Ta-da! <laughs> The overall appearance of the ASRock Z490 Steel Legend gives off a very elegant black, white, and gray camo design. There are 8-pin and 4-pin CPU power connections on the top edge of the motherboard towards the left corner which makes it easy to access. The rear chassis fan sits just above the PCIe by 16 slot. While other fan headers are grouped into two areas, the CPU and the optional CPU headers are along the top edge. And the chassis fans are located along the bottom edge of the motherboard. Four SATA ports are found on the right edge of the board and there are two SATA ports along the bottom edge of the board oriented vertically. The PCIe slot is surrounded with solid metal and extra mounting points compared to the traditional PCIe slots. It also has a stronger latch since graphics cards get heavier and larger. There is PCIe 3.0 slots that run at single PCIe by 16, dual PCIe by 16, and by 4. The Wi-Fi M.2 is placed directly under the graphics card while the M.2 placements are covered with thermal protection using the M.2 Armor heatsink. The dual M.2 socket features a PCIe Gen 3 by 4 and SATA 3. The ASRock Z490 Steel Legend is equipped with 4 DDR4 DIMM slots that supports up to DDR4 4666MHz with a total capacity of up to 128GB across its 4 slots. This includes support for memory with Extreme Memory Profile or XMP 2.0 profiles. The ASRock Z490 Steel Legend uses a Realtek LTR 8125BG chipset for its connectivity. The LAN connectivity supports up to 2.5 gigabit per second Ethernet and has power spike protection for durability. It has an LCA 1200 chipset and ASRock uses gold-plated audio jacks on the rear panels for better connection and audio performance. Unlike most pre-mounted IO shields, the ASRock Z490 Steel Legend reserves tolerant space and allow IO shield to be adjustable when installing, making it easier to install. And lastly, rear IO ports consist of two antenna mounting points, one PS2 mouse or keyboard port, one HDMI port, one Display Port 1.4, one optical SPDIF out port, two USB 2.0 ports, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A port, one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type C port, two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, LAN port with LED, and finally the HD audio jacks.
Well, that's my unboxing of this Azrock Z940 Steel Legend Motherboard. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, this is Scan, and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye-bye! <laughs>